holiday salon nightmares. That's a real thing. There's so many things that happen during the holidays in the salon that are going to drive you absolutely crazy. We're going to address them all. Hopefully give you a little bit of peace right now on the biz talk. All right, Tracy, I'm really excited about this because this is all about things going not wrong, but like problems, issues during a chaotic time, yeah. which is where I like to be in. You know, like that's where my problem solving mode like kicks into high gear with he young like, nails. He likes chaos. I, I do. I right? like chaos to a certain degree. I, I think we both kind of do. We like, do. We perform better in chaos for there's, some reason. There's no question about it. That took me a long time to understand about myself. I don't like it when things are, I don't want to say I like it smooth, but smooth and chaotic. Like I want, I want things happening all the time. He's a complicated man. <laughs> I want poor. it smooth, but chaos. <laughs> My poor wife and kids, I tell you. <laughs> um, let's talk about this. I really think people are going to get a lot out of this because mm -hmm. they're about to enter the zone of madness for the next two months. It's a great time for nail professionals because you're going to make some coin. You're going to be able to build up some clientele. But let's talk about some of the madness that goes on and how they can deal with it, Trey. So top of your list, let's start with the most gnarly What's top of the list that's just going to drive people absolutely crazy during this time? They all want to fit into a certain schedule. Okay. Even if it's not the their typical schedule. Got it. Now it's, well, it has to be around this party and it has to be around that and it has to be this and I want it before that. And it's like everybody wants it at the same, same time, time. Because everybody's going to parties yeah. and right. Everybody wants in right before Thanksgiving. <laughs> Everybody wants in right before Christmas because that's when they're going to be seeing their family. And I get it. Fresh. Yes. Fresh, fresh set. Look, looking fresh. Totally. Looking for <laughs> like me every day. Looking fresh on the daily. <laughs> failed miserably. That mm -hmm. one did not go anywhere. I'd like, Even... I'd like to move on. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that'd make you uncomfortable, <laughs> but okay. How do you deal with that? Because... You're trying to give customer service. You want to take care of your client, mm -hmm. right? You genuinely care about their well-being. What do you do? For me, I worked around it as much as possible. Like how though? So I usually would kind of kill myself right before Thanksgiving and Christmas so they could fit in. So you'd stack them? I would stack them. I would work later. I would come in earlier uh, if I wasn't working every day of the week. Because, you know, I had a pretty full clientele that I like to fit into three days. Okay. I would extend my days so it makes it work with the understanding. Listen, guys, eventually this has to even out. So after right. the holiday season, it's gonna go you, back to normal. you may have to come in a little earlier than you were expecting the normal because that's your normal appointment. Got it. And, or you may have to go a little longer because that's your normal. Everything has to even out again. Okay, let me ask you this question then on that is how far out, like what's the latest you push somebody out? Meaning, obviously, if you book somebody a week out, by the time their holiday party comes, they're going to have a week of growth. Right. So you're going to, everybody wants their nails looking fresh before the holiday. What's the furthest you go? Four days, three days, five days? Like, what can you kind of push? And push. are they going to come in and be like, well, I need a freshening up right before? You yeah, know what I mean? and that's, that's really hard because you, you're stacked. You're stacked. So you can't do it. So usually what would happen is he, you would have a group of people that were coming in probably three, four days earlier than they were expecting. Okay. Okay. And then you would have a group of people that were coming out maybe a week later than expected. So you would kind of prolong their appointment so that it would get them there. So it would kind of both. Okay. It and, depends where they fell in the cycle. Okay. And is that, I guess, still, I would want to know if I'm... You're still like, paying the same amount of money? No, no, no. Same <laughs> amount of money, of course. Maybe even more if you have to go... If you're prolonging, it's going to be more. Right. So, but but it, are we looking at, is the ideal, you're going to stack everybody five days before... Oh, I got you what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the, the, the mat, how far out before that party or whatever... Are yeah. they going to be happy? Yeah, because it's usually you're going to see week, that weekend before, like like uh, so. Let's say they're what 
what is Thanksgiving fall on? Thursdays? Thursdays. <laughs> Usually I'd probably work Saturday through Wednesday and then that's where they're going to fall in. Okay. So you're going to have to expect to just stack your clients. I, I don't think there's any yeah, crazy I mean, way around this, right? Some are cool and they, they barely grow. But I mean, for the most part, people are going to, they want it right before. And I get it because I'm totally. the same way. I'm like, oh, I, I'm getting ready to go on vacation or whatever. I'm going to see people. I want it. That way I, I know it's not going to break. It's going to look perfect and everything's good. Well, y- yes. And look, it's the holiday. So you got to deal with a little bit of madness. I think understanding that mm-hmm. is really good to know. Okay. Next on the list of drive me crazy during holidays. What is it? Sick. Ooh, people getting sick. People getting sick. Coughing all over you, but they okay. need their nails they done. They want their nails done. I've, I think we've talked about this before. I have had someone say, I need to get up to puke. <laughs> she knew she was puke level. She knew it. She knew she had the flu. and But she needed her nails done. It's like, please, <laughs> for the love of God, people, I know that you want your nails done so badly, but do us text a favor. If you're sick... Okay, but but what we're talking about, the reason why we're talking about this is because that doesn't happen. The client's not just going to understand magically how how do you deal with that? What do you do? If if they're really that sick, yeah. like I sent her home at that moment. I'm like, "Sorry, if you have to go puke, you you have to go puke yeah. and leave." And then go home. Yeah, because if I get sick and that's happened to me. I I I don't know if I've ever told you the experience of when I got the flu flu. You know how you always think, "Oh, I have the flu." Yes. This was the, the flu. flu flu. And two times. Two flu flu flu. flu, flu. It's yeah. severe. Maybe flu flu flu. <laughs> it was that bad. Okay. Um got up, passed out in the shower. Got myself up, went, "Okay, I need help getting dressed." I know, but I have to get to work because it's holiday season. <laughs> so I'm doing the opposite of what a client. I'm going right. to go get everybody else sick. Um, go into the bedroom. My husband's laying down on the bed. I look at him. I said, I need. You were, you were dust. I remember the yeah. story. Yeah. Yeah. Completely Wakes out. me up. He's, I'm like, what time is it? I have to get to work. Yeah. You ain't going anywhere. Yeah. So if your clients yeah. are coming in sick, you're, you're doomed. Okay. So let's just do, I love doing these. These are fun for me. I'm the sick client. How do you communicate this in a nice way? I think, I think that's the biggest part that's difficult for people is how do you actually tell your client so uh, 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 you know whatever (laughs) tracy i'm i'm i really need my nail you don't understand i need them done i have this huge party and i'll get better by then please 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 i'll do i'll pay you double i I would say habib i feel you and i understand that you want your nails really nice so let's do this get better give it a couple days and i will come in early or i will work late and I'll make sure I get you done because I know you want to be done Yeah, and I'm going to work with you at, because this is so important and it's the time of year. But if you get me sick, then I'm nobody else is getting done. Or if you get the people in the shop sick, it's just not fair to everybody. Yeah. And, and that's going to hit your, your pocketbook ultimately. It like you're going to get, yeah, you can't hard, do that. Cause you're expecting that, that holiday money. I'm yeah. like, I get excited at, just talking about it. I don't even, not even salon, but talking about the holiday money. Yeah. Ooh. It's real, man. Yeah. So, okay. Holiday sickness, people look, we're, we're coming into wintertime. People start getting sick. This is the flu season. I think tell them, to get home, get some rest. You'll try to work around the schedule yeah. if they get better. Yeah. Cool. Good solution. Next on the list. Children. What? Small humans. <laughs> small humans. So what's the deal? Wait, but kids are... So, why is that an issue during holiday? It's an issue because uh, they go on break. Oh, so they're in... Okay. So naturally, they're going to be in the salons? Yep. So okay. people start bringing them in. Okay more on the holiday season than they would like summer break or anything it's it's i don't know what the difference is it, like i think it's because you know i'm gonna go get my nails done and then we're gonna go shopping and we're gonna do this and we're gonna get this whereas summer break they're like a kid stay home and sure I'm, I'm not they're not so uh on a schedule sure um so i really had a small human policy in my salon <laughs> okay um please don't bring them. And it was nothing. And I had something written up very nicely about it. You know, we love, we love children. We have children of our own, but for your relax, your relaxation, this is your time to unwind. It's other customers times to unwind. Um, Please do not bring your children. Also, 
it's an insurance thing for me. Like if your oh, children yeah. are into things like that. Sure. I kind of sure. threw that out as a, a reason. Yeah. But the reason was, is I just, it just isn't my place. I know some people allow it. My place was not set up for children. Okay. And that's completely fair. I really like, look, it's a fact. If you come in to get your nails done and you bring your kids, you ain't relaxing, man. Mm -mm. It's just not going to happen. And neither is anyone else. No, I have, I have, I have small humans. Okay. Love my kids more than anything. But if I want to go somewhere to relax, there's no way I'm going to, I can't, I'm not going to bring them because I'm not, you just naturally worry as a parent. You want to look, you want to make sure they're not getting into stuff. That's what kids do. It's just the nature of it. So, of course. So potentially think about having that policy, maybe at least just during the holidays, if anything, like just say, you got to put in some policy yeah. there, right? Well, and I think anything that we're talking about today, right now, at this moment, you should be sending out something reminding everybody of your policies. That's a really, really good idea. Yeah. Because people forget. And yeah, of course. And that's okay, you know, because, you know, they would see it maybe when they first came in that I didn't, you know, children wasn't, but, you know, they're in the moment and it's like, oh, I got to I gotta bring my kid. Yeah. Or, you know, give me a call because there is some kids that zero maintenance. Sure. Like they sit on the chair and they're perfectly fine and I may know that or I know the person and I let it slide. Yeah. But for the most part, I think this time of year, your, your um, schedule yep. about being on time. Yep. Huge. Uh, deposits any policies you have right now should be going out again okay on that topic tracy and i were having this conversation about how a lot of clients would book after christmas right after the 25th so and this then, is my number one complaint for after the holiday <laughs> okay so right where i didn't really understand it she was explaining it to me and talking about how there would be cancellations so please explain this is your number one pet peeve yeah with the holidays. Yep. So clients who fall on the day after Thanksgiving, the day after Christmas, in my mind, I'm like, they're going to be busy. They've got family, they got family. whatever. So I'm like, sure. hey, your appointment is on this day. Are you going to make it? Do we need to make an adjustment? Sure. I understand. If we need to make an adjustment, I'll work a different day that I don't know. Whatever it is. Yep. Oh, no, no. I'm going to be there. Are you sure? Positive. I would get the phone call while I'm sitting there, usually at the time of their appointment. Are you waiting for me? <laughs> yeah. We yeah. have an appointment. Yeah, we have an appointment <laughs> that you verified. Oh, you know what? We're out. We're doing Black Friday shopping. Um, go home. Well, I can't go home because I booked out this day with the other people that said they were coming. 99.9% .9 of the time, they will not show up. Okay. Because family. Yeah. You, you don't want to tell your family I'm taking off. They have good intentions. They don't mean to miss their appointment. Of course. So can you put into place some type of policy? I mean, you should have this anyway yep. of no show. And you pay for the appointment. Yeah, you got to pay for the appointment. It's yeah. still annoying. I it know is that. because I could be home with my family. Of course. So honestly, what I did, Habib, is I no longer worked those days. Smart. S saved Just me. Saved everybody. It, no problems. Yeah, you get the day off. You yeah. don't have to deal with that. They get the time off. Everybody yeah. wins. It was no longer an option. Sure. So something to think about is the day after major holiday during this time, maybe look at taking that day off, um, potentially. Potentially. I mean, See how it flows for you. They, they but, may not have that problem, but yeah. I, I find it usually is a pretty standard problem. Okay, one question that I've got also, because I heard some conversation going on, Stephanie was mentioning, there were times during the holiday that she would charge double and she was mentioning that certain clients wanted to get in she couldn't fit them in they're like i'll come at midnight and she and they're like i'll pay double and of course she took that that seems real does that happen to you i mean just for people that are having troubles i mean you're going hard during this time does I, that seem reasonable i did charge more not to my st standard customers new idea um, but like if, cause you'd get, it was really weird. You get these random phone calls on Halloween night. I need to get in for a party. I can't get you. I don't have any appointments till 10. I'll take it. Shouldn't you be at your party by now? And like, no, it doesn't start till I, I'm Midnight. old. I guess yeah. they start later you than I both. think I'm like in bed by then. <laughs> um, so if it was a new customer, yeah, I would charge them more. Yeah. That, that's, that's a great, I, last minute appointment. Sure. You want to pay me double? I'm willing to stay late. Yeah. So it sounds like she actually had that policy with her regular clients and 
Yeah. I don't know. I, I would just say if you're maybe if you're new and you you're like you get that last minute call and maybe you don't have a clientele, maybe it's a good opportunity to get somebody in and and start to utilize that to build a clientele. This if, is a huge time of year. To yeah. Build. I remember yeah. that first Halloween and I did get quite a few customers and it was till like 11 o'clock at night. Sure. But I was just so thankful, you know, and there's you might not keep, keep them all. But there's Still, a potential client there. Yeah, absolutely. You, you, I think that's something you have to just expect to do in the beginning is you're going to put in long hours, period. Um, Tracy, is there anything that we missed here off the top of your head? I think we covered some some good ones. No, I think Pretty I solid. Think, yeah, I think it's just typical. People tend to run later than yeah. normal because they're busy yep. and, and traffic's worse and stuff like that. So again, I think very important. This is the time. Mass text message however you want to communicate it also put it on your board it's very important these are my late policies this is what i charge if you don't come in and after uh, after 15 minutes you don't have an appointment yeah. things like that it's good stuff let us know what you do let us know in the comments below how do you deal with some of these ho holiday madness situations are there ones that we missed and you can put them in the comments and other people could benefit let us know in the comments below we want to hear all about it tracy thank you Thank for you. your uh, great advice. And with that, I'll say thank you very much. We'll see you next time on the Biz Talk. Bye.